designed to shock. And we want to be your Poe Town heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Poe Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryan Horn Trainer Steven. And to Sean. And today is Sunday, which is normally our spot for the challenge accepted videos. We said we're going to try a new, uh, newish chapter. Yep, we're going to try something a little bit, a little bit different. The so, builder. Yep. So a lot of people have actually approached us and asked us, like, what exactly is our process when we build decks? So instead of doing like another 10 minute challenge in order to build a deck and go from there, we figured we would just relax, take it easy, and just kind of show you guys the process we go through when it comes to building decks. And being the first chat, we're going to show off something that has seen a little bit of thought process at the beginning, but hasn't really seen play at all since then. Yeah. So we're going to... So... And join us today as we build Tangrowth. Tangrowth. So, so we're going to build the deck around this Tangrowth. Hefty win. Yep. For a grass and a DCE, it does 30 damage. And if it was healed this turn, it does 130 more damage. So you can which do 160 is, for three. Which is an absurd amount of damage, which you're hitting, you're just hitting the GX range and the upper end of the stage, baby stage twos. Mm hmm. And our non GX stage twos. I mean, 160 hits and pulling on. Uh, guard chomp. Exactly. So we're definitely going to want to focus on the the hefty whip, so that we're doing 160 because it does more than the 110 on the whip smash. Yes. However, whip smash is designed. If you didn't heal, you still have something to whip some your opponent's Pokemon with. Exactly. So I uh, emergency. All right. So obviously, this is the card that we're going to go off of. We've got a four four line already built in. So what's obviously going to be one of the next things that we're going to want to put in? So it has a huge amount of hit points it for could, stage one. For stage one, it's pretty high. I will admit that. And so Hefty Whip, how are you going to get it healed every, every turn? Uh, well, obviously, there's the, the Grass Stadium, which heals 60 per turn. There is a Shaman, which, does, uh, which heals Pokemon. Floral Heal. It's a 70 hit point version of the Manaphy from Shining Legends. Oh, yep. It's a grass version of it. And, well. Yeah, it's definitely not a bad 20 idea. per turn per each. And you only really need one on the field at a time. Yep, so, so but probably do two just in case of we prizes. Have two, but we're going to use the two because, well. Yeah. It's nice to have it, it's nice to have it uh, on the field as well. So healing factors, we're going to do, well, start with the energy, just get in, in here. Yeah, so we like getting the the energy in first. That way, we know uh, about what we're gonna, how much room we have to work yes. with. So I'm guessing ten and four DCE. We'll start there. N nice to go higher, and then you can always cut back later. Yeah, like no lower than twelve, but yeah. Double colorless. One, two, three, and four. I don't think we need that. Yes. So this I probably want more, but not that one. Yep. So, so we're good there. So now the other healing factors. We got the life force. Yep. Now we got life forest. This deck will probably use potions because, well, it's a really so it's just a solid way to heal. Yeah. Uh, also, there is. Or big um, malasada. There's big malasada. You, you should use this. Means hit points is 140, and then most Pokemon hit between 120, 130 ish. Or I, I put I put two in for now. See if it works. See if it works. Uh, but I would definitely focus more uh, probably on either Potion or Masala. Yeah, I'd probably do a couple Malasadas because they will help heal the conditions like Paralysis. Paralysis, so Poison, swinging. Burn. Yeah, so I would say at least two of those as well. If not three. Eh, probably three. Okay. But it only heals the active, which chance our tank growth is going to be in the active the entire time. We, yeah. So that's healing. That's really the main healing cards, other than stuff with coin flips. Now what about uh, Gardenia, which allows Pokemon with grass energy to be healed? Is that uh, something that we're willing to use? Actually, with the, I mean, if we don't need this one then as much. With this? Yeah. And I figured we would only need, granted the entire deck focuses on healing, but I think we could get away with two of the Grandinia. Yeah. Or Gardenia. So, now back to Pokemon. So we need to get the rest of the engine out. 
now we have 160. The question is, do we want to go offensive? Well, you're hitting such a high number already. Now, do we want to throw Mantis that we were hitting even harder? Yeah. I was thinking of putting in set the Septile line, getting the Grovile going. That's definitely not a bad idea, although there is the Shinosic, which pretty much does the same thing, except with... Uh, well, I, do, I get immunity from Ultra Beast eventually, too. That is true. Helps me grab out Grass Pokemon because the most of the deck will be grass anyways. Robile. Yeah. And then grab the. I guess at this point it won't matter which Trico, but finding a friend is always better. Especially since we are grabbing or running a grass heavy deck. And note this: these decks won't run many GXs unless they, there's an ability on it to use. Yeah. So I, then I do like Tropius for grass decks as a starter if it starts. If not, it gets discarded. Because it's just a grass dedicated Vulpix. Yeah, it makes sense. I can start, I can grab out Tricos and start grabbing out Girl Vials and Tangles and Tangrels. But now, even... but now why the Tropius over the Beacon Vulpix? Because of fact, Vul or the Vulpix can do it for free. While it does have six, it does have more HP than the Vulpix, you are required to put the one energy on this has a better uh, backup attack in case well and, and has more hit points to. has more survivability and it adds more energy for the septile makes sense now back to the trainers which is pretty much all the room we have left for i'll be using tate because this is a more defensive deck because of well you need to keep moving yeah and tate's more available currently even well, we, have, least, we uh, have Cynthia, but and Cynthia is getting reprinted. We just don't know how much of a reprint it's getting yet. So, so if you have more Cynthias and Tate and Liza's, you could probably do that. Just that Tate and Liza's more available in a in an actual set versus the set for Cynthia kind of uh, got un re unprinted or discontinued shortly after it had a few printing errors. So. Yeah, and then we got Guzma because oh. most decks are pretty stapled with uh, with those. Now we need to look up uh, Pokemon Search. So obviously we're going to go Netball. Um, Probably Ultra Ball. Although I won't need as many because I uh, after running Sep, the other Septile list, I found out Ultra Ball isn't as necessary. So once you would only need like two. Out. But Nest, Netball is doubles as two as a Pokemon Search and an Energy Search. So now, what about Nest Ball? Or do you think that's well? Netball is grabbing everything here, and the and Nest Ball is grabbing the same targets. I would only use Nest Ball if I, if I was using something other than these, other than Grass. Makes sense. I will still, as much as I wanted to use Elm, but the thing is, there's Tang, Tangela does not have sixty hit points. So I'll no. be using f fan club. Yeah, fan club because everything else is just out of range. And why not bring the family together? Exactly. So. So we'll need at least two. Now you could put in a Lele in this deck, but honestly, Lele is not going to be necessary. I probably want to put in here just because it's you know distract from the theme and. Now it, what about Lily, to ensure yeah, draw in the for, beginning? Can't forget a draw engine. Some draw. I'd say at least two. And last three spots. Oh yeah, do you want to do choice band or do you want to do ditto? Uh, we will need stretcher. Yeah. So this is the first. I'd say at least two. This would be the first build, and then. And one recycle system. So now let's take a look at the list. And see what we can do. Because we, at most, I can sacrifice two more energy before yes. I start hit, hindering its uh, consistency. So right now, like our ideal play is that we want a Tangela active with an uh, DCE. And Fan God bring out a Trico and or Tropius. Tropius has an emergency if it leads or you get out or opening hand. Mm -hmm. Because Tropius, like Vulpix, is that this attack is really good does take an energy versus Volvic not taking one 
but there's not a problem with that. Especially if you're staying to your typing. Mm -hmm. So we've got a couple supporters. We've got a Cynthia to draw. We've got the Gardenia to heal. We got Dan either for switch utility plus plus oh, the shuffle draw. You could add, add an actual switches. That's not as much as I like it. I think no. this will probably be a bigger impact than this. Today. At least until we get the life forest. Yeah. So probably so drop the potions. I'm thinking switch because I miss. We need to be able to retreat, uh, switch or uh, escape rope. I forgot this doesn't uh, probably switch at this point. Throwing all the cards that can help Tangela Tangrel do its bidding. Now what else? I think this will be fine. This just gets rid of the condition. That's really what it's meant for. That and. Well, heals 20. Yeah, which if it's healed, it does 160. And there's not a whole lot of Pokemon that can hit the 140 mark. There, I mean, there's a few, but now, by chance are at this point, you'll probably have the bench one ready to go. Now, I will admit, this is where I think we would split off a little bit, because I would think instead of the Sceptile, going the T2 Grass Gnosic, and then going, or even a 1-1 one, one of that, and then putting in a 2-2 two, two Lurantis. That way you're doing more damage, the more offensive route. Yes. So that's my personal pick would be uh, from that list, dropping out the Sceptile stuff, adding in Lurantis, and um, adding at least two Lurantis and maybe a 1-1 one, one Shinostic, because the fact it does the same thing as the Grovile every turn. Yeah, the only thing Sceptile produces is the immunity. Yeah, which, to be perfectly honest, you, the main ones you're going to be running into are the Naganadal and the Blasephion, everything and you else. And one shot, almost one shot Blasephion anyways. Yeah. And you don't, they're only getting one prize up, and they had to burn two energy regardless. So it comes down to personal preference. If you're more more offensive, really I really was... need this for basic Buzzle. Yeah. So as much as everything... We can try, we can try the less less popular uh you can try the less popular uh mushroom the, the shinosic yeah because to be perfectly honest the grove vial does pretty much the same thing the only difference is it's on a state or it's on a beefier stage one than what's currently granted there. it doesn't have as great of an uh doesn't it doesn't have any life after after a few mm-hmm which is why I was thinking just the one one, and then going with a um, with the two two Lorantis. That way you can maximize uh, your damage output. Since grass Pokemon, or even actually, that's not a bad idea either. And then Romantis. Oh, how about this? There you go. There's Romantis. Oh, there is no R, so it's just F O M. Yeah, that's where I was getting that. Keep wanting to put an O in there. All right. Let's see. I don't like having broken. Although, I don't like having broken evolution lines though. Although, to be honest... Are you, are you afraid of being superstitious? Okay, hold on. Go back to Pokemon. I was going to just drop one energy and add in the extra... Pokemon. I was going to say, drop the... Drop that, because the Shino 6... Yeah, it's there just for in case. It, it's literally there just to get everything out, so if we can't get it out with the Tropius and everything else, we still at least have the offensive. So our, our Pokemon getting a Pokemon out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that that looks, way, if that we need Shinosic, we can play it. If we don't need it, we... We stayed at 17. Didn't burn energy. Yep. Uh, and now we could potentially be doing plus 40. That works. And now uh, we got Dag by the Growth. Alright, and now we just get to do our favorite part about all of this. D does it work as good as it looks? Yep, so actually what we'll do is go into the... We'll just do a, a quick, uh, uh, quick, quick round. Quick deck deck t uh, test just to make sure it's actually flowing like it's supposed to yeah so the first time we test the deck we go 
full on against the computer uh, to make sure that all our Pieces changes are falling where it is. And if it's if working there, you drop it onto the actual playing field. Yep. If we need to make any changes, this would be the time to make those changes. And we just go back into computer, do three turns, see how we're looking. Ditto. So yeah, see how we look after like three turns. As much as I would love to shuffle that you, Cynthia, I might hold off a turn. I I honestly would hold back a turn too. I mean, and I think I don't remember the one that was from uh, uh, Crimson Invasion, uh, Burning Child, Crimson Invasion. That time, I might just be as well for that. So, so ten growth. Note that yeah, against CPs, you probably won't get as much of the hefty whip happening yeah, because they don't but, hit hard enough. But even even then, it's more or less to test mechanics to test. See if it's actually flowing like it's supposed to. Yeah, like see where where the issues are before you take it online. Like I think everyone pretty much does that. I uh, except again first mat or the first time we test it, we do the full deck, try to get as many prizes as possible. After that, we do we make the tweaks. Go turn three, turn four. Try to figure out where the issues still kind of lie and see if we can or can't fix them. Maybe we're getting too many supporters in hand. Maybe we're getting not enough supporters in hand. Yes. Uh, so this just makes sure that we 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 know where the issues lie in the deck. I mean, she knocks not a bad card. It, just, it unlike Rova, it doesn't have anywhere to go afterwards. Ah, how rude! Using crushing hammer. Mm-hmm. By the time they use a legal card. Grab out the other Fomantis and then probably another Tango. Tangela. Yeah, I mean. I mean, that's... if you don't get Tropius in opening hand or access to it, it probably won't need it the rest of the game. But never hurts to try. Exactly. Get it out. That that makes perfect sense. Uh, so we fan club, so we can't. We can't actually attack to uh, get the tag going off, but I still have access to do using Shianotic. To get the Lurantis to make sure you're at least hitting plus next turn. Yes. If your opponent is swinging harder, you can probably get both Shamans out and heal a little bit faster. But even then, you only need to heal like once, once per turn. Because even if you heal 10, you're still hitting 160. Yes. Next turn, it'll be. Oh, it'll be uh, Tay and Liza. Uh, yeah. There's no point in healing more. Let's see. So yeah, probably do that. Grab out the other Lorantis. So I don't draw it out with Tantalizer? Mm-hmm. And if either I can... Well, we we'll finished setting this one up. Probably, probably big masala shaman I'll just to uh, probably ultra ball to get that and then tame Liza. against cp i probably won't need that as much so see the next tango set up hopefully get the next tango set up and uh which will tom wouldn't be bad because you could just if you're running a heavy grass variant you just move the energy to the new one Oh, wait, yeah, do your heal. So now Tangrowth is going to be hitting harder. We just need one energy. And with 10 grass energy and netball, shouldn't be too hard to hit. Like it, like it just wasn't. <laughs> and that's what, 200? That's got to be 200. Plus it's 40 plus... 200. Yeah, 40 plus 160. And it's working. I mean, hitting 140 is still a certain amount of hit points. Yeah. And at this point, it just comes down to the more tedious of everything. You just test and test and test until you finally get it just right. Where every time you test, it still runs smooth. It still does what it needs to do. And then you go on to verses. Let's and that's... heal it up a little bit more. Yeah. I, I was just going to say, you probably should do that. Tane Liza, you don't need to draw as much. Or I need a better better card selection. Then you start building this one up. 
There's like energy. with that grass energy, and you use netball to grab another one. Probably. Even though you don't have to play it till next turn. I won't get it played till next turn because it tells me now. No, if only we could turn on the rules that we use as kids. You could, I could play all the energy in my deck. Sure. I like that. I like that ruling. I, 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 I will admit, when I first started playing the game, like I was, I was eleven years old. There was only one other player that that I uh, could play with me. That was my brother. And to be perfectly honest, we we evolved Pokemon turn one. Like I remember there was one game started turn one with a Gengar, four energy attached, because I had all the stuff in my hand. I didn't know the actual rules, uh, the drawbacks of living in a small I'm a hefty town. Hefty whip for a weakness knockout whip for four hundred Yeast. I think it's I think it's ready for the main testing grounds. I think it is ready for the main testing grounds because at this point you just test and test until you feel comfortable with it, and then go right into verses and test no, it out. No, against the main. Oh, cool ladder reset. Against the main meta decks, I would probably choose Sceptile because you'll you'll still you'll see a lot of the bigger Ultra Beast decks out there and Noggin Ales everywhere. Yeah, so it really comes down to what you're trying to do with the deck. Are I, you trying to... I play a more to... defensive route on the meta extreme, but then it's on main. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sceptile! With a... With a water box. It's probably the only one they have. But even then, you have... Um... I don't see a tail never fails, right? So if you're going right, up fails. against... Now what? Tail fails. Tails never fails, except when it does. But uh... I... It's like half the time. Mm -hmm. So the main thing is, is I, uh, you just test and test and build and play and test, and it comes down to what your specific needs are. Are you looking for something that's going to compete against the meta? That's when you just research, figure out what's in like how, the. How far is this deck to go? Yeah, but I, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, so if you're going up against meta, look at the top, uh, the top prizing, top prizing decks, and use. And figure out ways to counter a lot of those cards. DCE heavy decks, maybe adding a hammer or a crushing hammer or a faba to deal with those. I uh, pretty much build the deck that you need, but make sure you have the core engine established. Make sure everything that you're doing helps the engine, and anything you have room for deals with everyone else. Something tells you this guy's more of a starter. Oh, that's why there's no other grass. Other Pokemon. Vesta Queen. Vesta uh, Queen. Vesta Queen, uh, Sceptile. This would be kind of, it's not quite a mirror, but it's grass, grass all around. It means all of our supporters, all of our stadiums help each other. Who's going to play Life Force first? Who's going to play it first? Hence, this, this deck could have played Aether Paradise for a lot of the basics, but the only one that really benefits from it is, well, Tangela and the Tropius, so. Oh my. Well, next turn it'll just use Sceptile. But the thing is, we have until he maxes out the bench, so. No. 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 Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it, baby. Come back. Come back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, come on, come on. It's okay, baby. It's okay. There we go. Would it be a surprise if we're not playing GXs either? Netball? But right now it's a stadium neither of us benefit from. Yep. And I'm not playing Life Force. Not against this deck. Not unless you not until you are hundred percent set up, sir. Yes, against the actual, against the actual uh, meta and whatnot, I would, I would have used Sceptile because it has more to go for the deck. But thing is, not we're just playing for fun. Yeah, and, like, and sometimes when you can exploit a little bit of power, try it. Yeah, and even then, like you should always just build a deck that's based around your favorite Pokemon or your favorite mechanic or something that not not everyone's gonna do. I mean. 
yeah, you could build a deck that's let's match it. You could run a Zoroark, uh, Zoroark Guardi variant. Surprises wins. Like so. like everyone else out there, or a Zoroark control list, which everyone else is doing. But I can guarantee hardly anyone's running a Tangrowth list. Hardly anyone's running a Rhyperior list. Hardly yes. anyone's running like a smaller deck. So uh, A lot of the decks that play, take a lot of time and effort and thought process to actually fulfill don't get tend to get much play because it's just easier to thrash yeah why why build up a slacking that that only does 130 when you can do a buzz wall which is a basic and can hit even harder even faster yes so so if you're gonna build competitive uh it's a lot of the same things you just make sure you add more counters that go against the meta so more hammers more uh the stronger basics uh the gx's stuff like that but for a nice fun game, kind of like what we're doing here. Yes. I mean, just pick something that you like, like something you think you can work on. Because who knows, you might find a way to break it. And then you're and you become famous for a day or two, mm -hmm. or a week. Just like uh, just like our uh, just like our Norvern list, just like our uh, Gigalith list, just like all this kind of stuff. You get you get to help the little guys shine, which Jeez. sometimes that's a good thing. Breaks the the mundanity or the uh, repetition of everything. I think kind of getting shit knock now is kind of pointless, but yeah, pretty much. And now I can always shuffle it back. Always shuffle it back. Grab the Lorantis and use the Ditto go yes. into the Lorantis. There you go. All right. So Vespa Queen is first ready to go. First loss of the day. Well, well, first Pokemon loss of the day. Except I don't need to have a full bench to get Vespa Queen to work. Vesquim is a nice, solid, straightforward deck and very, uh, doesn't need a whole lot of energy. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we and with need the energy. And with Grass being the only type right now that has an actual, actual energy search. At least we could survive against the Vespa Queen with the tank. Between row. this, I'm pretty sure these are going to be this, the baby septile. But now, could t could he survive until, or t could the Tangro survive until we get him yeah. set up? They would need a Lorantis to be powered through, and they don't have a Lorantis. I mean, Kukui is a thing, but... Hardly anyone's playing that, though. Like, Unfortunately. Draw two to do plus 20. It's not... As, it really depends on the deck. This deck could probably use it, but... There's no point in grabbing that because I'm going to be shuffling it. Well, let's put all the t resources where they're supposed to. At least get the deck to flow. Yeah, but like you said, we don't... Oh, I was going to say... Oh. Shuffle, shuffle draw five. Sorry, draw back into it. I will survive at least one turn, so not playing that. Uh, Le which we can't play yet. Next turn. And I, I would... I can use this to shuffle the deck, but... And I need some damage on me first. That is... I'm going to whip myself a queen. That's true. But I think I have to get the second one set up. Uh, top deck at Gardenia would be excellent right now. To well, bring some damage down. Wait, even then, 20, 20, 40. That's about 60. You could, in theory, heal a lot of that damage back. Thing is, I'm still in range of the next next Vesper Queen. You are. But I'll make it where he has to use Vesper Queen to knock me out. Come on. No. No, Stop come it. back. Stop it. Come back. There we go. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Come back. It's okay. Come back. Sean's playing too fast. Well, I think as Tangrowth once set up, we'll be one-shotting, so... Yeah. We just need to get this one set up. No, right, no, no, come on. Come back. Come back. Come back. No, 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 Stop no. Stop it. No. Just because we're winning doesn't mean you can quit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right.
right. So uh, <laughs> brief intermission. So yeah, brief intermission while we while we get set back up into a game. Are we okay now? We hopefully should be okay. Let's try this again. This right. time, throughout the entire battle. Yep, so hopefully we actually get, don't get booted out. If we get, Because if we get booted out again, I think we're just going to call it. Yeah. We were doing so good. We were going to turn it around. We were going to knock out Vespa Queen. Well, this would be a good, t good test. Decidueye Ninetales. Oh, yay, lovely. Everyone's favorite combo. No, everybody's favorite combo is with Zor. So, this adds Zor. Oh well. All right, so we get the Mulligan. Mulligan once. Get a lead with what I want, and he he get, he started so, which means he'll probably do the the unless he started Lele. Lele Elm. Sometimes he's got Volt picks. Lele Elm. This will be fun. Chicker. Meganium. I will admit, like, even... Just like the video we brought up on Friday, the thing I... thing is, that deck doesn't attack. I know, but even then, like... <laughs> this is Like gonna... I mentioned on Friday, I slept on Meganium. Like, I did... A th Everybody slept on Meganium until it... Meganium and Swampert. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I will fully admit I slept on on the Ganium because of the fact there's one line in the entire thing that I completely forgot was a thing. You can use this ability for Pokemon that just came into play this turn. I completely forgot about that line, and now that I've now that my boy has <sighs> seen some redemption, and it uses him, I am now. Let's see what's in the deck. First. I am now in love. Everything's in the deck. Everything we need's in the deck, which is good. Yeah. Well, we're we're a turn behind. Does this hope we can? He doesn't mill us too fast. Uh, Let's get that Ditto out Shaman. of there. Let's get that out of there. We got we got our Tangros. Let's gain the piece, get the poke one out before he gets a chance to mill him. Yep. Because we have about. Well, we don't know which version he's playing. Is he playing hand version, or he's just playing? I mean, there's hand version. There's because uh... if he's just doing the Chikorita plus Mudkip, and there's Nine Tails to grab the yeah Nine Tails <clears throat> for the rare candy. He's using Nine Tails as the wall. Thing is, this would be a slow game if I can't uh, if I have to use the Power Whip, the Whip Slash Mass or Smash. So, Meganium for Meganium, Meganium for Swampert, Swampert for, well. What, but why, oh, so he can use Meganium to evolve the Chikorita. Wait, it... he's using the, he's using the Greninja engine. Oh, so he's pretty much, he's using the Greninja engine. Draw out the deck to where the only thing that's going back in is the Froakie, the Gren Greninja. Right period did it better. <laughs> right period is mill. This is just the aggro version. This is the aggro yeah. version of your deck. Yeah. Well, tech. Well, I don't oh, know. They, like, like we brought up on Friday. I'm not sure whose list it is, but I, I'll claim it. Well, for now. <laughs> for now. Well, I'm I'm having to dig at the deck to get the thing set up. A zombie pokes Tangro. I'm fine. I'm getting. I can. Essentially, get the knockout of Nine Tails eventually. It's more of I'm worried about this one. Basically, you're digging until you find Super Boost, and then you start swinging. So now he has both of them open to evolve with. Oh, 
probably the running Swampert manual. Yep, there's a Swampert. Use Meganium, go into Swampert. Unless, okay, I was going to say, unless he doesn't know how the Meganium works, but I'm pretty sure if he's running it, he knows how it works. Well, if he's running, if he's gotten it to this point. My issue is not stopping him, it's, it's stopping the Greninja. I have to knock out the Greninja with the Super Boost. Although he's already got, he's only got 19 cards left in his deck. You, you want to have just the three cards going back in. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You place it, you play Super Boost, and you attack, and then you jump out. Rinse out the repeat. Because you, your, your attacking strategy is based off that energy. If you lose that energy, you lose. You have no other means of winning. Then we should probably start dealing with that energy now, should we? Yeah, have fun with that. I you should know sick to or uh, heal at the. There's only heals active. Oh. Dang. I uh, um. Then yeah, probably grab the other. Dromantis. That's what I like about this deck, the uh, Tropia. So it's also one energy retreat cost. So. Grab I'm also trying to grab everything out of the deck, so then it's not hindering my draws for energy. Yeah. Speaking of, I've gone this far and haven't drawn a single energy yet. I know. Which other is, than these two. Which is kind of sad. But at least all we need is a DCE. The not... thing is, I also need, since he's not going to attack me, he's not going to attack Tangrowth. He's going to attack the setup. And he still has open a Jig stack open. To hit something for 130. If he hits Tangrowth, I have something to do, but... If he doesn't, if he just avoids Tangrowth, I can't do anything. I had to just whip smash for the best. And Guzma whip smash to hit the engine. Wait, doesn't this, he have a, this Hold on, actually, what's, what's uh, Greninja's weakness, isn't he? Grass. The thing is, it'll always be jumping out. My thing, I need to hit these two. This enables him to draw the remaining deck, so he can always keep the engine going. Okay. I... Uh... Yeah, I saw this while judging regionals. I saw, or uh, not regionals, uh, big cup. So, I don't need anything but energy. Preferably DCE, but. I got the Guzma. You got the Guzma. Don't want to live waste life force. And Brooklyn Hill is pointless for both of us now, so. Yeah. Should have just d d dug more, so now I got Cynthia, though. I was hoping for DC so I can Guzma up the Swampert. Who knows? I need, I need, to, I need to hit both Swamp all the Swamperts. Swamperts are, the Swampert is the key. You dig out your deck until you have nothing left, and you recycle Greninja. So in this turn, we can anticipate a Guzma play. So he'll and and attaching super boost. The only th way he loses is if he fries the super boost. But I probably he probably hasn't because he's still playing. There's a switch. And who's he gonna poke? There's the super boost. Hey slash. Okay. And he's gonna bounce out. He ha you have to bounce out. That is dirty. Can we get a DCE, please? Well, energy at all. Actually, that, that turn should have been when I actually give put on the uh, life force. So then he wouldn't have to be able to brooklet out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure I, the deck could run a pair of Brokies, so... There's nothing I need just, just to be able to attack. I'd say in turn and then wait until he... Oh, wait, no, that's right, because even if he... I'm, I'm, I need the goose... The, this is the final engine. It may, guarantees you always have all three pieces. There's a power draw. There's a power... Yeah. 
So he probably and does. Brooklyn his... Hill, even at this point, if he misses the froggy, he still calls. It. He can still call it out. Though he, and then he can call it the last bit too. And now, also, he had to survive the switches. There's only four switches plus Guzmas. This would probably be, or Bell of Silence would probably just destroy this Bell deck. Bell of Silence stops this deck entirely. Because everything it needs is a, an ability. If you're running Psychic, you're getting the, or if you're running Psychic or uh, something, or one of the unit energies that, that has Psychic, maybe a, a they, they found out that Bell of Silence, these type of decks, Bell of Silence destroy, stops, even Decidueye. Yeah, I think he's just haze, he's gonna haze slash it. Yeah. Forgot he has 140 damage range. We are just not getting anything. Well, he has he has the engine set up. The only way to really stop is to judge him. Who runs who runs judge anymore? And I even forgot to put that in here too. I oh, I was gonna say I would almost taint Liza, but that works too. And he still has Guzma plays too. So I wonder how much of that hand still has Guzmas. No one, our luck, probably all of them. <laughs> well, I just had to survive. How many prizes? Four. He's got to survive four turns and see if we I need, can. I need a hit. I need it. I haven't hit a single DCE, which is absurd for this point of the game. I haven't even hit a single one. Yet. But even then, 31 versus zero, or 30 cards in deck versus zero cards in deck? Or let me rephrase that. Three cards in deck? No, you just translate the repeat. The only way to stop this is to judge. And like I said, who, who plays the judge? He's he not playing Guzma, otherwise he would aim at Tangrowth. I wonder what it does. Wait, it's he, out, yeah, I, was I wonder say. what it does when it's, once it's out of switches, though. Because that was, what, three switches? That's the third switch. One, two, three. Let's give him. In case I can use my. Okay. I need to hit the engine. The thing is, the engine's now complete. I'm. Lily for two and hope for the best <sighs> to get nothing. Yeah, I wonder I, if I, I'm, this is one of those games I happen to hit prize all four DC. I have not seen a single one yet. But then we still got twenty eight cards left in deck too. Still in the one, same game. Yeah, this is the same game. Even then, we're probably going to shut it down after this, just because of the fact oh, we we're going to we're kind of SOL. We're, we're going to see what he has outside of this, though. But he can get do that. He can do it once more. He can poke and then poke and then I don't know after that. I wonder how many people actually just scoop at this point. We don't. Oh no, we we stay to the last last card. Well, I think then he can still use Swampert as one of the attackers. Uh, Brooklyn Hill. See if we even have them in the in the deck. Yeah, let's see. All four are still there, <laughs> just being avoided. Very much being avoided. I. Oh, there's no. He's already have four switches. We're, we're gonna see if he has. And now he's probably gonna just play Guzma. Because that's the only card he has left. 
Now the only real counter to this is Bell Science and Judge. That nobody's playing Judge. So. Oh, there's also escape rope. Yeah, there's escape rope. There's there's a couple ways to switch out. We have that too, but thing is, he well, he's not, so he doesn't have escape rope. There it is. There's the he's gonna pop. Oh, he's gonna pop a Lorantis. Okay. He has to keep the cycle going. Mm-hmm. And he knows, he knows about the Tangrowth. Let's see what our top deck is. This this will matter everything because I'm hoping the top deck is Guzma. It's too late now, but... Yeah. At least stop, stop part of the engine. It's, it, it, they, they're, they're, I don't know what it is. I couldn't get it to even set up against... Get a Guzma's and energy in hand at the same time to even then he stop get, the engine. Even then, he can't get the knockout on the Tangrowth, even with because uh, it's one ten and switch. Ability. Oh. And that, now he can just play Guzma for a knockout. He, he has knockouts. Well played. You have a good deck, Smiley Face. Yeah, I couldn't get a Guzma and energy in hand at the same time. That deck's annoying. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, editor. Uh, note how many turns go without an energy attachment. My guess is five. And he does Guzmas. So he has the he has the engine right there. That's all he needs. Oh, there. So yeah, uh, that was our uh, deck building. Just kind um, of showing the uh, that battle took a little longer. Yeah. Um, well, it, it really comes on, it depends on deck. Aren't you really screw a deck too at times? That's like no energy at all, no draw support. And how many turns do we go without a draw support? That is true. So this is th at this point we just go back in. We make adjustments to make sure that it it runs a lot smoother, runs faster, and just overall better. And we just keep doing this and doing this. And then when we finally get it to a point, I think we're good. That's when we show it off to you guys or even just doing the, the Jahan's but Accept It. So you at I, least know our thought process. But unfortunately, that was a long battle. Didn't really get a showcase, but... Oh, no, we got a chance to showcase. And then my internet decided... The internet decided to go, nope, I'm uh, not working for you anymore. At least we got part of it. to had a showcase. And the game's like, nope, you're not winning this. We'll give you a deck you can't beat. Yeah, so the internet decided to go away like the uh, like the great engine with, with the with the RNG <laughs> as well. Yeah. So. Any any chance for me to stop the deck of of that deck? There's hitting the Swampert, uh, Bell of Silence, and Judge. They're the only ways to stop it. Nobody yeah. plays Judge. Everybody's playing Bell of Silence to stop it. And I just couldn't get the Guzmos and energy to hit the Swampert. Yeah. So at this point, that's when we would just tinker. But either way, uh, what did you guys think of the? Or I, we promise next Sunday challenge accepted. Like we've got a couple new suggestions, uh, and we're we're gonna give those a shot. Uh, so what changes would you guys make? Or did you guys like how we built the deck? Uh, any changes you guys would make? Let us know down in the comments. While you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Po Town here yourself. Hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore town underscore heroes. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, or check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. And check us out on Twitter at Poe Town Heroes. Yes. As always, may all your games go well. And may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time.